Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Mike. And welcome back to our channel, Adventures with Indy. If you're not familiar with our channel, then please go back and watch all our other videos. But also, Indy is obviously our motorhome, isn't mm -hmm. she? Yeah. And she takes us on lots of adventures, <laughs> which we love. So hopefully, we'll have some good adventures this weekend. Yeah, we will. So whilst Mark gets us all set up, because he's really good at that bit, I'm just going to give you a quick, quick tour of the site that we're staying at this weekend. Right up there in the corner is the water pipe, and behind the gate in the next field is where you get rid of your black waste, yeah? Over by the entrance is the waste bins and the recycling. And your allocated pitch is anywhere you fancy in the field. <laughs> so we've chosen the middle of the field, haven't we, babe? Yeah. I've chosen the middle of the field because the sun is up there. And it's just going to have the sun all the way around. We're not going to be in the shade. We are off grid. Yeah. Three nights, so no hookup. So we've got, we've just got our solar panel and, and what we've got in the, in the uh, batteries and the gas, and that's it. So yeah. So hopefully we'll get on the right because we've only done two nights like that before, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So we shall see how we get on. <laughs> it's hardly a big test, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big a, test. It's a little bit more than we've been before. <laughs> oh, I think it's a big test. We've just started out on our bike ride. It's not been the best of starts. <laughs> we've realised that we've left my saddlebag mm. at home, which is like got the spare in a tube and my pump in it, etc. But we have got a spare in a tube. tube, which we're now carrying. But we've literally not even done it's half a mile and looks like Mark's got a puncture. Oh, we've just got to move in now, the car come up the hill. <laughs> the bottom of this hill is Millock. There's quite a hill down and quite a hill up. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> 25 plus percent and 29 percent in the hairpin corners. Okay. So, to avoid those. so I'm putting on my electric power. Electric power, power. I'm putting it straight onto red. Straight onto red. Tomorrow, we're going to walk the coast path. So we'll come out here and we'll have to walk up that hill. All right, Woodmouth Bay then. All right, this big climb. Okay, let's go. Don't stop. There's a car coming. I'll have to stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go on. 
Oh, no, I can't. Can you move your car? Is it not on red? Yeah, I thought it was. Came here in the boat home earlier in the year, parked up for the day and went for a walk. And it's a free Cornwall Council car park, which is quite good. Yeah? <laughs> but um, no overnight parking. Prohibited, isn't it? Valley goes and whether it joins up. We don't want it to be a dead end, do we? Babe. Yeah. Sticky cake, apple cake, brownie, orange lemon lime cake, baked or tart, chocolate fudge cake, lemon pistachio cake. So we've stopped first stop of the day, isn't it? The cake, even though it's lunchtime. <laughs> And you've got pistachio cake. Is it pistachio and lemon? Mmm, and I've got apple cake. And very cold cake because it's very, very hot, isn't it? <laughs>
coming up to Heart and Key. You can park here all day. I think it's three pounds. Well, it was when we came last year in the motorhome. Down there's Heartland Quay. We're not going to cycle down there because we actually want to go to Heartland Point, which is around the corner. But out there in the distance, I don't know if you can see it, that's Lundy Island. Oh, it's a helicopter thing. Oh, I've got no idea. There's a motorhome here. There's two motorhomes here. Yeah. Oh my god, would you have driven all the way up here in Indy? This is the destination of the day. Yes. No, you can't walk on here, but that the lighthouse is down there. Yeah. I don't know if it's open. Heartland Point. It's the most extreme and northwesterly point in Devon. Furthest from the railways. 14 miles from Bude, 16 miles from Biddeford as the crow flies. And the point marks the southwesterly limit of the Bristol Channel. And that's Lundy Island again, in the distance. We desperately need a drink. Oh, refreshment kiosk. Just what we need. <laughs> so we've just had some refreshments at the cafe at Heartland Point thought they would do hot food but she said it's been so quiet that she's not done any hot food so we just had some crisps and a tea cake didn't we and some cold drinks but it's really nice and it's three pounds to park here all day and you can stay in your motorhome for five pound overnight so we'll have to give that a go won't we it's gone it's gone look it's gone already and left me <laughs> we've done 35 miles and now we want to try and get back as quick as we can because it's like Four o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon. He said the direct route back is 25 miles, so we shall see. It's quite a hilly magical mystery tour. Isn't it? <laughs> Yay, we're back in Cornwall! Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> and we're back! <laughs> Epic bike ride, babe. Okay. Epic. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to pause my watch. 62 miles. 100k. <laughs> oh my goodness, it has been so hot today, hasn't it? Pond the snake's eggs. <laughs> it's been really hot today. We've had to stop a couple of times on the way back to refuel. And there seems to be a water shortage in the shops we've been in so it's been fizzy drinks and he was just saying that he didn't stop in a pub even though there were quite a few pubs on the way back calling his name there's a pub two two miles away oh yeah literally on the turning down this country road and he was saying no <laughs> oh. Oh. can we ignore him
Mark's just reading a forum about motorhoming. They're talking about some very expensive places to stay, is that right? Mm. Which are classed as wild camping. Wild it's camping all... with consent, you said. Mm, yeah, more like ripping ripping you off with consent. £100 <laughs> a night. £100 for one night? Yeah. I wonder what they get for that. In the Midlands or something. And there's £45 a night here and £75 a night. Some of them have got no facilities, have they? We've got no facilities and we've paid £8 a night. <laughs> and we're like a mile, well no, we're not even a mile from the coast. What are we from the coast? 0.3 of a mile onto the coast path and a mile to the nearest beach. Mm. Albeit down a big hill. Would any of you pay £100? a night to stay on a campsite with or without facilities yeah with or without facilities we wouldn't is that because we just type <laughs> no, it's like, i think i'd rather spend pound on beer than <laughs> parking in air <laughs> three oh, you and your beer i'm just putting it in perspective we're paying 25 pound a night for yeah. a bank holiday weekend which i thought with electric hookup and facilities basic facilities but I thought that was quite good actually for bank holiday weekend hard standing it is inland not on the I'd coast gone grass for 22. you'd have gone on the grass <laughs> anyway just so much to talk about isn't it let us know in the comments if you would stay in a campsite a hundred pound a night mm -hmm.